Well, my time with Naveen was nothing short of fun. It was amazing. I mean, we explored places that I would never have thought to go to. Um, and the time and care that he takes into really working his craft and getting the perfect shot, um, like you could tell that was evident in the way that he was framing uh, certain shots and going to certain places too. Um, and I'm so excited to see the final product, um, again, like the spice market, the flower market, and even just walking through Delhi, even getting a little historical lesson from him was amazing. Um, highly recommend. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, definitely 10 out of 10 would definitely um, look with Naveen again. So probably if you're seeing this video, either you are traveling to India or you are planning to do so. And as a photographer, I, you know, tend to explore a lot of places before shooting. I have explored quite a bit of Chandni Chowk till now, but uh, I thought of doing this today as well, because today I'm with someone who's actually having a lot of time and she's having, you know, that sense of getting photographed in a very unique way. She loves to explore, to say hi to Grace here. So we have a with me and we had like a, a two hour session, like a photo shoot. Although I really hate the fact that, you know, in India, especially in Old Delhi Spice Market, they have like really bad ways of dealing with the foreigners, I would say. And although we did the shoot, but I thought of exploring this area also because since you have seen in my photos as well there are like a lot of alleys here in Chandni Chowk where, where you get to see some really good sun rays that makes great pictures and I'm just making her walk a lot for me and we are just trying to find a place where we can get some sort of you know lighting setup which I would really prefer to shoot. Trying her best to pose for me, but I hope she doesn't know that I'm making a video right now. <laughs> How was your experience, Grace, so far? It's been amazing. I loved it. I mean, it's great to see different parts of the city. Um, and I just love the character, all of it. <laughs> I really like uh, these, uh, know. you know, doors and all that. That rustic I love appeal. That's what it was. That's yeah. I'm like, what's the word? Rustic. Yeah. I found something very interesting here, but seems like it's someone's home. This place is so cool. I love the lighting coming in from the grate right now. It gives it 
like this texture of the light. Um, Have you ever seen this? You know what this is? The water pump? Oh man. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> she's from US and she still knows you should be expecting when you are in Germany shock. I think this is one of the finest backdrops, Grace. I must tell you, she uh, did photography too, so she has some sort of sense towards getting the photos done. You want to say something? So, I think what I love most about this is, I mean, the shape itself, the archway is really beautiful. The distress, coupled with the distressed look of the aged door. Um, you know, the when you remove the newness and the perfection, if you will, gives it that... Said that, um, oh gosh, being put on the spot. Um, is that one Japanese? Um, oh, I have uh, you know what you know. Do you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, yeah. about? Uh, yes, uh, it's not finding one. finding uh, greatness in flaws, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. There's a Japanese That's word. It, yeah. There's a book on that as Jinsuki? well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a word for it. Finding beauty in flaws. That's right? what it is. Yeah? yeah, it's something like that. That's what I find in this. It's here's the grunge, but you could tell even just with the shape, because um, you could see how like icky guy. Icky guy. Or no, that's I, the is that the floral arrangement? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yes. I, okay, we'll Google. Okay, this maybe later. we both are dumb. <laughs> The stress look, like the, the chipping of the wood on the door. Like, what has this door seen? Um, what story is, is laden in it that, you know, like years and years and years of pain? Just trying her best to say whatever she could about this door. <laughs> Although I would say, I don't like it. <laughs> I told you about this place, right? She's more into yoga, meditation, Reiki, and all these, um, you know, amazing sciences. And suddenly we came down to discussing these horoscopes and all. And now she's telling me more about the cast. Okay, never heard about it. Okay. You wanna tell me more about this all right. now? So, as a disclaimer, you know, many people uh, don't believe in cusp because technically the sun is in one sign when the sun transitions into a different sign. But then some, you know, like to believe that they're you know, especially if you feel like you identify with traits of one sign over the other, it might be, um, you know, don't quote me on this, it could be a reason because of cusp being that at the very end of uh, zodiac sign when it starts to move into the second sign, the sun, um, the few days uh, within that transition of the sun, yeah. that's considered the cusp. So my friend here, over here. Um, he okay, I didn't understand anything, whatever she's told me about the cast. <laughs> Just finished off shooting with Grace today. And so, when you're coming to Old Delhi, there's this new place which is coming up a lot in TripAdvisor and all these Lonely Planet books. It's called the Dharampura Haveli. And it's getting the vibe these days. A lot of people from US are actually uh, choosing this area to live. Because I think they are uh, they are done with all the glamour what they get to see in the US. So yeah, it was a fun shooting day. We had a 2-3 hour session. Let's see how it goes. So now this is the alley which comes and goes towards the Haveli. And quite wide I would say when you are especially coming into the old Delhi. This is the only bad thing about coming down to old Delhi. Though I was lucky today because I could find the parking spot today in the morning that too on the you know ground level 
unless if you go down under you know there are like three four levels underneath if you get a spot over there trust me your life becomes actually hell when you are trying to come up but yeah such sort of shoots actually keep me going on because i've loved doing them because i learned to uh, you know i get to learn a lot of things from people who come down to india so everyone has different personality traits and you know you get to see them and i think for today it's a wrap i had a nice day and it worked out pretty well for us today so let's hope i'll be sharing some pictures in this post um and since since this is the first video which i have made for my vacation photography let's see i'll try to make it big <laughs>